Hi, this is Jennifer Minster for SavannahNow.com, and in this edition of Local Music Now, we're talking to Howard Paul. Thank you very much for letting me come here and, and see the plant and talk to you. Um, but first, let's just talk a little bit about when and why you started playing the guitar. Sure, I, I started when I was four years old. My uh, my aunt was a world traveler and she had a guitar and she left it in oh. my house when she took off for uh, a month or two to yeah. go to India, I think. And I just fell in love with the instrument. Yeah. And so uh, I got a guitar at four and for my fifth birthday I got a guitar teacher. Yeah. And started taking lessons from there. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I started playing jazz when I was ten mm -hmm. through uh, a, a local great jazz saxophone player that was my age and virtuoso. Oh. So um, we started a jazz quartet at 10 years old, and by 13 we were playing professionally. That's amazing. So I, it's a long, long background yeah. in it. Why, um, why jazz and not more of like a, a rock and roll type thing? Um, it was just more interesting to me at yeah. the time. I started out, I guess, playing Beatles music like mm. most people yeah. my age did. <laughs> and um, I just, I, I don't want to say it's boring music, but from a music standpoint, it just was much more interesting yeah, to yeah. me to play, right. uh, you know, what was popular at the time. And what we were studying as 10-year-old kids yeah. was mostly Dave Brubeck and Miles Davis right. and Charlie Parker stuff. So Very cool. So I was introduced to jazz yeah. because it was interesting. Yeah. And, uh, and I had to keep up. Yeah. So that's why I sort of <laughs> Very awesome. spent a lot of time working. Yeah. Now, over the years, you have held, done many things. You have a very impressive career with an army captain, captain, and you know, business executive and stuff like that. Why do you make the time to play music? Why is it important for you to fit that in? Well, I think uh, I've made time to join the army and oh. made time to uh, to have a business background, uh -huh. uh, but I've never had to make time for music. Hmm. It's always, I think, been the most important thing in very my cool. life, yeah. and. Um, everything else I've done because it's very difficult to just play music for a living because yeah. it can be a very hard life particularly yeah. as a jazz musician. Yeah. So everything else I've done I've done just as great experiences yeah. and sort of as a day job but my yeah. career I think was always based in music. Yeah. Well let's talk about this career. We're here at Benedetto Guitars. Benedetto Guitars. Right. Tell us a little bit about the company and, and how and why you got involved. Um, Bob Benedetto is considered to be the premier jazz mm -hmm. guitar maker in the world. Um, he's been making guitars since 1968 and I became a customer of his in 1995. Oh, okay. I finally started making enough money to be able to afford a Benedetto. Mm -hmm. And back then it was a three and a half year to five year wait for a guitar. So wow. you ordered one, paid a deposit, and waited for years yeah. for the instrument to be available. Mm -hmm. um, during the years that I was waiting for my guitar, I became good friends with Bob and his wife Cindy, who's mm -hmm. uh, also part of the company. And um, by the late 90s, I was helping them organize concerts. By 1999, he had signed a contract uh, agreement or a licensing agreement with Fender Musical Instruments, mm -hmm. the biggest guitar yeah. manufacturer in the world. And so they made Benedetto guitars from 99 to 2006. And during that whole time, um, I was performing on Benedetto guitars, became an endorser of Benedetto yeah. guitars. Uh, when Bob decided to leave Fender in 2006 and start his own company, I was the guy that had a business background yeah. and was a jazz guitarist. Yeah. So he came to me to, uh, to help him yeah. establish a company that was focused on jazz yeah. guitar but still run like a business. Yeah. So, so it was just an opportunity for me to combine the, two things that I yeah. loved. I bet, that's, I bet it's great to come to work every day. and. You know, see this, and it's amazing that you know the it's play a, and everything. It's a fun job. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Well, going back to the music, you you play a lot around the country. Mm -hmm. You'll have a couple shows coming up in in April. Tell us where people can find out more about you and the music and everything. Uh, I don't do a lot of club dates anymore, yeah. but every now and then I like to I like to be able yeah. to keep my fingers in it. So uh, I think the first and second Friday in April, mm -hmm. I'll be working with Eric Jones's quartet at Blowing Smoke. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last Friday in April, the first Saturday in May, I'll be at the Jazz Corner. I'm featured at the Jazz Corner um, usually about a half a dozen times okay. a year. Yeah. And I often bring in uh, legendary guitar players from around the country to join me on stage. Yeah. So uh, uh, 
April 30th, May 1st, I'll have uh, Joe Negri uh, yeah. joining me on stage with Ben Tucker. That's awesome. Um, Very and, cool guys. And I'll have Bucky Pizzarelli back at the Jazz Corner cool. in the fall with me. So, so you can usually keep an eye on the Jazz Corner yeah. schedule to know what I'm doing. Okay. At. Very cool. And where can we find out a little bit more about Benedetto? Uh, BenedettoGuitars.com. Okay. And we have a news page that we update pretty much every day. Very cool.